for Pizza. lunch. I made Paulella some pasta for lunch. Is it doggy? Puppy? Puppy. Is your pasta good? She's kind of ate a bunch of it already. You ate a bunch of it already. Good job. That's your pointer finger. Where's your thumb? Yay, good job. High five. Whoa. Aloha my kaku. I don't think I started off the vlog yet today. I forgot my vlog camera at home. I reached into my purse. And I was gonna grab it this morning when I was out doing my errands. And then I realized, crap, I forgot my vlog camera at home. So sorry, the whole day pretty much passed, I feel like. It's actually only 1.53 right now. It's pretty early still in the day, but I do leave to pick up the kids pretty soon around like 2.30, 2.45. So I showed you guys some clips. I vlogged a little earlier. When I got home, I basically put away the groceries and I fed Paulette some lunch. I also put some coconut oil on my face. Ow, you're hitting me. So the reason why I put coconut oil on top of my face is because all over here, it's getting raw. Like when I mean raw, it's drying up, getting all cakey-like like scabby she's getting raw around my nose area that hasn't happened to me in a very long time so i don't know what causes that and then all over here and over here like mainly around my lips it was getting really dry you can just tell it was like really dry and patchy yeah it just was really dry where it was flaky dry pretty gross i know um so i decided to put some coconut oil on top just to kind of moisturize my face I don't know why my face is all of a sudden getting dry. I don't know if it's because it's that time of the month. And I don't know if it's the colder weather. It's been really cold lately. It's because it's getting into, it's like fall. It's starting to slowly creep into winter. And in Hawaii, you think it doesn't get that cold. Hello. There's no winter weather in Hawaii. Er, wrong. If you live especially on like the east side of any of the islands, you know that it gets cold on the east side of any of the Hawaiian islands. Especially on the big island, I know Waimea gets super cold. So where I live is in Hilo. It's on the east side of Hawaii Island. It's really cold, especially where I live up in Mountain View. It gets cold even during the summer. It's really weird. You would think Hawaii, you know sunny weather all the time no it's actually pretty rainy over here <laughs> on the east side at least and it gets really cold and especially during winter it's freezing in the morning early in the morning especially and even at night I'm shivering and it's just so cold we live kind of near Mauna Kea and Mauna Kea actually has snow I don't know if Hawaii Island is the only Hawaiian island where you can snowboard or you can play in the snow and then you can also play in the sand because there's people that do that they go up to Mauna Kea they play in the snow for a bit and then they go down to the beach and they swim a little bit it's really weird <laughs> but it's pretty cool it's like I have the best of both worlds I have not seen snow yet though at all ever in my whole entire life never seen snow in real life I've never been to Mauna Kea up in the summit yet i just never had the time to and the cars that we had it's not really doable to go all the way up there but i hope that this year if snow does come and there's abundance of it i want to go so i'm gonna like vlog that for sure if that happens i'm kind of rambling i ended up putting back some bb cream on top i don't really use foundation and i use the same bb cream the reason why my skin, I know it's nothing to do with makeup because I don't really use a lot of makeup. I don't really use foundations. I don't use a lot of powders. I use BB cream and the only powders I use is blush, highlight, and I put on some translucent powder. It's never given me any issues. So I know it's nothing to do with anything I'm putting on my skin. It has to be environmental or it has to be my body is just changing for some reason. It's weird because I'm having like this kind of like freak out thought that what if I'm like hapai? Which can I see that face again? Oh, go like this. Oh. 
<laughs> it's so weird. Yeah. Here. Come talk with me. Let's chill a bit. A chill a bit. Like I was just about to say, I have kind of like this freaked out thought that I could be Hapai, which is also the Hawaiian word of the day. And conveniently, Paula Le moved the camera so I can do this. Hapai means pregnant and carry. The last time I've ever gotten my skin really, really dry is when I was pregnant with Paulele. Paulele, you don't need to move in anymore. Look at her mess. It's a kind of cool angle. Wait, no, it's not focusing. So yeah, hapai means to carry or means pregnant. So. Aww, so cute. Are you so cute? That's right. But, but, why are you saying but, but? But, but. But, but. We're watching Dora, but grown up Dora. Dora. I'm thinking it could also be my makeup wipes. I use the, what is it called? Say yes to the dress? No, say, say yes to the cucumbers. Wait, what is it? It's like, say yes to these wipes. I don't know, something like that. It's like, say yes. Is it just called yes? I don't know. I gotta look in the bathroom for them. Anyway, those freaking wipes, they actually do burn my skin. So, I think I just solved the mystery. I just solved the crime of the century. Yeah, I think I should just stop using those wipes if they're burning my face because I think they're making my skin dry and raw. So I have to leave soon. I gotta go pick up the kids. I am running off of, I think, one or two hours of sleep. I don't know. I wanna go to sleep, but obviously I can't go to sleep because Paula is up and I have to watch her. Sorry, the lighting's kind of weird because the wall ends like literally right there. And so you see the sun coming from this side, but you see the wall blocking me. Also, this is blocking me. Wait, maybe that's what it is. Okay, so normally I use Kylie lip kits like all the damn freaking time. But today I'm gonna try out something that I got from my C bag. This is guava butter from Seraphine, Seraphine Botanicals. It looks like this, I showed it in my Ipsy bag. It's a lip and cheek stain. It's creamy and it smells so good. Oh my gosh, it smells really, really good. I don't use lip stains. You wanna put it on top? So on the carrot, it looks like it's giving a lot of pigmentation. And I don't know from far away if it is or not, but it looks really weird. It's really weird in real life. On camera, it looks fine. This camera is deceiving. Mommy! Go like this. Go like this. No! She's trying to eat it! Is that how it weirdo? It just smells that good. That's what she's trying to eat it. It's 91% natural creamy. I'm not really a fan of that. Maybe for a cheek stain, definitely. For my my daughters, I was gonna say sisters, hello. For my daughters, I think it's really good but it's not that pigmented. I guess it gives a good like moisturization to your lips and a little bit of color. So if you're going for that natural, really natural look, but you want a little pizzazz, you want a little. Okay, so I wanna show you guys what I got from Target. Cause you know I go there every other day. Let your lay every other day. Eh, let your lay, eh, eh. The first thing, the first thing, the first thing that caught my eye was this bag. It's so cute. If you watch any of my other... If you watch... Yes. If you watch any... So if you watch any... Paulele! This is why you cannot vlog or anything or film when you have a kid. It's kind of... Okay, so... Okay, you're faking, faking. Okay, so if you watch my other vlogs, you'll see I bought a bag very, 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 very similar to this one. This is different, completely different. Let me show you the other bag. Yeah. 
So this is the old bag. This is Paula Liz's bag that I bought her a couple, I think it was like a month or two ago. And this is $9.99. I did not see any cheaper price online for it, so I bought it at $9.99. So this is the bag that I bought today. There's a huge difference, I say, but it's super cute. This one is shaped differently. It's more circular versus this one is more square. This one is more smaller. This one is more bigger. This handle is a handbag and this one is a shoulder bag. You can already probably guess who this is for. I seen this and I was like, I got to get it for Pujanas, which is Pua Leno. In store, it's $11.99, but if you're smart like me and you online price match it to the website, when you have the app, I scanned it in the app, I added it to my cart and it was a different amount, it was $7.99. So I was like, yeah. Oh, by the way, now Target, before it was kind of like, an, she literally did all of this right, right in front of me. I'm sitting right here and she just took everything out from this. Like I was saying, I online price match everything. If it's cheaper, a dollar or two, I would get it for that online price. Now, it's kind of inconvenient from having to go to the register and then you gotta stand in line again to in customer service and you gotta online price match it. That kind of does get really annoying, especially if you're in a rush or your kids are just driving you crazy and you just wanna leave, you just wanna have one checkout. Now, I don't know when they started this, but today is the first day that I've ever experienced it where you are able to price match your price match your items at the register. So you just show them on your phone. So for instance, this is exactly what I did. On my shopping folder, I clicked on my Target app and then I scan it. I use the scanning button. Come on. So you see right here, you can scan it. I scanned it. It brings it up. There's the bag. It shows that it's $7.99. $7.99 on sale for online price. So at the register, while you're paying for everything else, they're ringing up everything else, you just tell them that this certain that this certain item is ringing up online at a cheaper price and they punch in the new price and they have to have proof though it's just easier if you're just using strictly target.com and they punch in the new price and they just whatever all at the register so you can do it all at once you don't have to stand in line at customer service after you check out already which is super super good i was up price jesus hallelujah so i thought that is super awesome that Target does that now because I am an avid online price matcher upper. I don't think that's a name. Me being the, uh, the mother that I am. I always feel guilty. I have to buy the other kids things. If I buy one kid, I have to buy like the other kids things. I just felt like Puloku would be left out because his sisters would be having matching purses. So I decided to get him something. I got him this bag and it was on clearance and it has like this pleather bottom to it. And the print is dinosaurs. It's black and it's gray. It has this outside pocket. It has three pockets guys. It has, I'm guessing like a folder pocket I wanna call it because it's so skinny, like what are you gonna put in there? It has this pocket, and then you have your main pocket. So it's pretty good, and on the side it has these two pockets, I guess you could put water bottles in. The only thing is, I feel like the pockets on the side are not even, you can't really fit a water bottle in there. Maybe you can fit a water bottle, but you can't fit like a hydro flask or anything in there. So you can see originally it's $16 and on clearance it's 11. I was looking for something for Poloku and then I stumbled upon the clearance section. That's where I found the bag, but then I also found clearance clothes. It had some good clearance clothes. It had actually clothes that I bought at regular price and I was like, damn, I should just wait it. I got him this, what is this? Sweatproof, waterproof. It's a athletic shirt, whatever, a dry fit, I think that's what it's called, dry fit shirt, and this was only, went from $15 to $4, yeah, 70% off. I seen in the clearance section, there was a lot of the bras for little girls, because you know, Pua Lana's wearing bras now, because I'm 
freaking old. There was a ton, like a ton of underwear for girls. And I was like, dang, they're all on clearance. And they're all like only three to four, three, four, two dollars, all around that price. I decided to get her this because she does love this color. It's a Tiffany blue or like a mint blue. It's like almost like a bandeau. This was $4.24. And then there was this two pack one where it's gray with polka dots and then this white with a bowl and stuff like that. Pack one was $4.24 as well. So I think I scored a lot of good things today. They'll be happy when they see this later. I got myself a Southwest chicken salad from McDonald's. Right now it's 3.48. I'm eating chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets. Tell them why we have to go back to the school. Cause you're having to pull Ohana. Yep. Have a night. Have a night, yeah. Hold on, let pull over sleeping. Food is right there. I got chicken nuggets as usual. I mean, I ice mocha because I'm running off of two hours of sleep or like basically an hour of sleep. And I wanted to eat a